I'm going to show you how to install your software. Um, there are a couple things that you're going to want to um, do initially. If you look in your textbook under software installation, you want to make sure you take care of step one before you install the software. You need to get a serial number and in order to do that, as you can see, I'm showing on the screen, you're going to uh, type in www.peachtree.com forward slash student forward slash REGI and you're going to then input your information as required on the screen and once that information is input then they will provide you with a registration or a serial number um, and so as you can see after a couple attempts at not probably having all the correct information in here I finally did and then as you'll be able to see the registration popped up on the screen you want to save this form or well definitely save it um, what I did then is took that serial number and copied it so then when I went through with the installation I did have have that information in order to complete that installation process now I installed my CD into my D drive and uh, from there um, went through the process and as you'll be able to see really clear in the book um, I followed the instructions regarding what to click on and what to accept and when I pulled up the the disk I did um, run the setup and that did then start the process of as you can see here um, the installation and then from there just certain um, license agreements that you had to click OK to or I accept again there click next here I agreed to the terms I wanted to uh, do what was necessary for the firewalls to allow it to run correctly and then from there uh, basically you're going to click a lot of next 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 just a heads up this video was up to about 45 minutes and I've kind of cut it down to um, provide you with the necessary information um, but you want to follow this and make sure you take the time to install your software correctly because it will save you a lot of headache down the road um, because I've had Peachtree running on my system it's just looking for previous peach trees because I'm sure I have 2010 and 11 on here also um, just continue to go through the process and from there you will then be able to now this is where you will want to copy and paste that serial number that we did have and make sure you have that left justified and I don't know what I had initially done incorrectly there but make sure um, and you want to state this is the only computer you're going to have Peachtree on the software that you've been provided will only allow it to run on one uh, computer so know that that would be an issue if you were having it on more than one computer because you would need more of a network version from there the um, software continues to install
know that this can take several minutes. Hang in there as you continue on with the downloading of the software. This can take several minutes. I've cut out a lot of this and know that just loading the software could probably take you five to seven minutes. So hang in there. If it's going slow, it's really not that it's going slow. It's just quite an involved uh, piece of software that requires a lot of space. So as you can see there's three steps to this installation process and you'll just want to remain patient as you go through um, the full installation portion. You are going to be loading this to your hard drive in most of our computers that's going to be the C drive so um, know that you're going to access the information on your C drive. Once the installation has been completed, you'll have the option to start Peachtree. You're going to want to choose that option, and we're going to do a couple things. We're going to open an existing company, and from there, we're going to browse and find the Bellwether Garden Company. We're going to look at that and just do some adjustments on here. We're going to look at a sample company called Bellwether, and from there, we are going to retrieve that information. You're going to want to hit OK, and again, all this takes time because there's a lot of information in here. Bellwether is going to open up, and it's going to give us some information what's new in Sage Peachtree. We're not going to worry about this right now. You're just going to want to hit the close button or click on that close tab at the bottom uh, right hand side of the screen. But from there we are in Bellwether. We're going to look at uh, doing a couple things. First looking at the expiration date for Peachtree. You're given 13 months to use this software and so what we'll need to do in order to confirm that the software is set up we want to at the navigation bar on the left hand side of the screen hit system and then from there we're going to look at the expiration date the it 
shows an expiration date field. Excuse me, I said it was 13 months. It's 14 months from the day you installed the software. So we've got basically 14 months from when you've installed the software. I have right here on my system till October 22nd of 2013. We just want to make sure that information is uh, showing up as we anticipate it to be showing up. From there, we're going to look at some other global options that will be in effect for all the peach tree companies. You're going to click up at the top your the menu bar you're going to click on options from there we are going to click on global options we are going to look at the accounting tab click on the accounting tab and in the decimal entry area we want manual and two decimal places um, that should be selected in the accounting options. Below where it says high general ledger accounts, we don't want any of those boxes checked. So if there are any checked, you want to make sure you uncheck them. And then in the other options category, we are going to want to have the box checked that we want to be warned if a record's been changed but hasn't been saved. We're also going to want to make sure the box is checked on recalculation of cash balances. And then moving on, we're in the general category. We want line items to have two line items. As we move on here, we're going to follow the book and it's going to show that our program fires are going to be located in the C drive. And from there, you're able to exit the program. And you should have everything installed um, as needed. Make sure you take some time to install this program accordingly. It will save you a lot of headaches in the future.